We're at Turf Moor for what could be Burnley's promotion party, with visitors Middlesbrough attempting to take on the role of the Poopers. On the 15th of April, 1989, well, now the Players and supporters will prepare for a minute silence in respect of those terrible events at the FA Cup semi final in 1989. They will never be forgotten. Here's now Marnie, Trippier again, stretching out the legs, keeps on going, it's a super ball, terrific chance for Barnes, and uh, it's Ings who fires it wide, over the head of Barnes, met by Ings and sliced out for a goal kick, fabulous ball by Trippier, it was over Barnes, and Ings, well, he applauds the intent. Me with a header. Nodded forward by Whitehead, Tomlin looking busy, and the deflection takes it out for a corner. He's always had an eye for a goal, Lee Tomlin. And you can see this was always going away from the target once it flicked off the feet of Trippier. Now here's Arfield. Charged down well by Woodgate, in by me, and at the far post with the header off the bar is... and then it was nudged over the top and it looks as though the opening goal was beckoning our field shot was charged down me floated it in Kitely's header off the bar and then Barnes tried to twist his body and head the rebound into the net but the crossbar and then just a bit of misfortune denying Burnley the goal Kitely the ball Ings with a little flick and a chance to bring in a pass and Ings, well, he almost got on the end of the pass from Marnie who burst forward from the midfield. Well, a one-two of sorts, wasn't it, between Marnie and Ings and a really good tackle preventing Ings from scoring. And it was a Doma who got there, all credit to it. Pentafield. Now a Doma, this is an area where you'd expect to see him taking on me, in towards Graham, good chance, good chance, Middlesbrough's best by some margin, and the visitors as close as they've been to taking the lead, terrific ball in by a Doma, really good run from Graham who met it on the fall, but couldn't keep it under the bar, Jones, Try to find Ings and he does succeed. And Ings on target. Constantopoulos just about gathers it in at the second attempt at least. Well struck after he'd held off Chalabar. Trying to get the better of Butterfield and he's managed to do so. And here's Ings. Burnley have plenty forward and one of them is our field and the deflection takes it out for a goal kick. It could have gone anywhere. Arfield hit it, it then rebounded back at him and though he didn't control what happened next, the ball hit him and could have gone anywhere. As it is, it went out for a goal kick. Another half a chance, well defended by Ayala. Now Graham. Brings in Ledbetter on towards Tomlin. And then hit by Graham and turned aside by Heaton. Well, it's the second time that Burnley have been tested by the man on loan from Sunderland, Danny Graham. Picked up by Tomlin. A few uh, nervous looks from the Burnley supporters towards this attempt. And Butterfield on target and tipped over by Heaton again. Well, no wonder the Burnley supporters were looking anxiously at events. This is a good spell for the visitors. And again, Heaton forced into a good save, this time to deny Butterfield. First he saves from Graham, then from Butterfield. Still with Arfield, 
tackled by Woodgate, breaks for Ings into the path of Marnie. Marnie slips it through for Trippier. Onside, great clearance, still not cleared. And in the end, it goes out for a corner. A real side to go for the likes of Ings and Barnes, but none of them could convert. Trippier with the low ball into the centre. And in the end, it deflected off Ings and then off a dome up and out for a corner. Burnley nil, Middlesbrough nil, and another poor corner, thumped away by Whitehead on the near, here's Tomlin, trying to run away from Arfield, still going Tomlin, and turned into the back of the net by Butterfield, and Middlesbrough are in front from one end of the field to the other, the script has been torn apart by the visitors here, is their supporters behind the goal who are celebrating. Tomlin just kept on going, he lost our field and Butterfield flicked it, had a quick glance at the assistant, realised he was onside and then began to celebrate. Middlesbrough leading at Turf Moor, it's Burnley nil, Middlesbrough won, Jacob Butterfield. Kikley will take the corner. To delivery and headed over the top by Ings, who made his run from far post to near and wasn't really picked up. Forward, a good one by Duff, and the header is a good one from Barnes, and the save from Constantopoulos equally. Good ball in from Duff. Good header down by Barnes and Constantopoulos with his first genuine save of the afternoon, keeping his clean sheet intact. Can Trippier find the equaliser for Burnley? It's on target and Constantopoulos punches it away. And Trippier looks at the heavens in frustration. Looked a little bit too close to the goalkeeper. But the keeper taking no chances and using his preferred right fist to get it out of harm's way. It's Jones over the bar by Constantopoulos. Second time that he has beaten over a free kick from similar positions. One from the right, one from the left. Another Burnley corner, another opportunity perhaps. Stanislas floats it in, comes over to the far side, Duff slams it, Ledbetter gets in the way. Brilliant defending again, they're throwing bodies at it, Middlesbrough. Offside, offside against Barnes, free kick to Middlesbrough, and now the Middlesbrough players are getting angry. It's got everything this game, absolutely everything that you want at this time of the season. Well, here's the penalty appeal for Burnley. No, I don't think it is. It's... I took an anchor's asking, where is this extra minute coming from? Another push, a free kick to Burnley, one more chance. And the card is coming out, and this time it is Rhett because it is a yellow card followed by a red for Ayala who had just been booked seconds earlier well Ayala was booked seconds ago after an altercation with Barnes and then when he was adjudged to have kicked the ball away there he has now got a second yellow that's got to be one of the quickest double yellow carded sendings off in football history I think That was the foul earlier, and this is him kicking the ball away that led to his yellow card. And he'd already been booked. And Middlesbrough supporters punch the air with delight. Sean Dyche strides purposely towards his opposite number. 
Burnley were hoping this would be the day that their promotion to the Premier League was confirmed. It's all gone horribly wrong. I saw Karanka's side have beaten them. They've completed the double, courtesy of a goal on the counter-attack by Butterfield. It's finished here at Turf Moor. A terrific second half in particular. Burnley nil, Middlesbrough 1.